Okay. The show taught me about all different types of relationships. Obviously, it's a dating show and it's meant to be somewhat romantic, but the relationships I think that I personally explored on a deeper level were the ones with my friends and family. All that I have learned from it is that I should have probably involved them sooner. The whole process of asking my family if they wanted to be on the show, at first I really didn't care at all. And then uh, when I like sensed their hesitancy, that's when I realized like, oh no, I actually like, really want them to be involved. For me to be comfortable in myself, to want to involve my family, that was something that I couldn't understand. I had to be comfortable with bringing her to my family to have them be involved with the process of what do you think? I didn't think about the feedback part of it as much. They have always trusted in my opinions of people from the past that I've gone out with and that my opinions aligned with theirs. I think that is what brought me closer to them through this entire process. At first, I, I used to be just kind of embarrassed a little bit about um, my parents being involved or knowing um, about my dating life. After the entire show and the experience, I learned that one thing that I could take away from it is I do have the freedom to choose when I should involve my family with whoever that I bring into my life. Um, if I want to bring them in first day and introduce them to my family, I have that choice. Now when we have conversations, it's all, who are you dating? Who are you going out with? What's going on? And they just are, there's so much more um, ready to have those conversations because now they think I've left the door open for them and they are just really always wanting to have the conversations and I'm like, well, you'll see, I guess. <laughs> this show helped both of us find that balance. Helped me stop being an idiot and, to, and realize that, yeah, I might not be comfortable, but it's time to start opening up now. Your family is like so much part of you. I've seen how important it is to have your friends and your family be involved. We grew together through this show. I hope that the audience could see that journey of us changing. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Living life, living large. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, how was your whole experience with the whole thing? It was probably one of the best dates I'll, I've ever been on up until this point because that was it was really fun. Like I don't know, maybe it's like an adrenaline thing or whatever, but I had a really good time after that. And I know your experience was a little different than mine, a little more. Um, how was yours? I, I mean, I had fun with you. There was nothing that I regret. So it was, the whole experience itself was really cool. Even though like there was really no chemistry there. Yeah. I felt like you felt it too, you're not. I think we're definitely on the same page. You're energy and I think we vibe well together, but I think it's uh, strictly platonic. And that's not a bad thing, that's just what it is. And... Uh, what is one thing that you learned from this experience that you're gonna take with you wherever you go? I think I went into it thinking that, you know, I wanted to be as authentic as possible. And I think I this gave me the opportunity to be like, if I can be myself and not care around this entire environment, well, I it shouldn't be that hard in you know a dating scenario. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Best of luck on your future endeavors. I'll see you. Yeah. 
Same here, hope everything works out for you, school, finding the love of your life, whatever you want in life, I hope you get, and maybe, hopefully, we'll see each other out and about someday. Likewise. All right. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Oof. If it works out great, it's not gonna end my world if this doesn't work out. Going into this, a couple days before we started, that anxiety did start to creep in of like, I'm going on an Armenian dating show. I'm not that Armenian. Like, is this gonna be a problem? Is this gonna be an issue? Is, 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 am I gonna come across good to not only people that are watching, but to the person I'm going on a date with? This, you know, guy I was dating, he was really into his culture and I'm very prideful of my culture, but I'm not, I wasn't as into it as he was. And he just kind of mentioned like, oh, you're just not Armenian. Like, some, sometimes you're just not Armenian enough. And I didn't expect it to hit me as much as it did, as hard as it did. I think this experience has taught me that if I can get along and with some, someone like Shant who is more Armenian than I am, then I don't care. This is who I am, I'm Armenian and you know, if that's not good enough for anybody, then that's not the person for me. Yeah. On the show, I have the opportunity to take somebody on a second date. With Natasha, I felt like there was uh, more to explore. I feel enough chemistry that signifies that there's some potential for something long-term there. In our Armenian culture, we have a lot of uh, traditions passed down through generations, and I've never had my coffee cup red, so I thought it would be a fun experience. Something I've never done before, like I've never had my coffee cup red like with someone that I'm on a second date with. I'm feeling, I guess, like hopeful that like we can connect again, I guess, a second time just to see like how things are and see where it goes. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Nice Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Of course, of course. It's a pleasure. <laughs> uh, let me pour you some coffee. Cool, cool. Looks yeah. great. I was Thank telling you, I was like, I'm not an Armenian coffee drinker typically. No but worries. We'll see what this. It could be a little strong, so <laughs> okay. if you don't want to like finish the whole thing, that's fine. Okay. We could work with it, but um, cool. Have some, please. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. I learned this craft from my family, and, you know, it's important for me to keep this tradition going, but I'm also, you know, very sensitive to energies. Wait, that's really good, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I actually um, visited my grandma the other day, and she was drinking the coffee, and then I was like, okay, let me try to read it after, you know, she yeah. puts it over and whatever. And I was like, oh, like I see a mountain with like a waterfall. Like I don't know what any of it yeah. means, but I just know that that's what I see. <laughs> so um, yeah, it will be, will so be interesting to know, I guess, like what what comes out of seeing that or of course. whatever else is on the cup. I don't know if you're getting close to the bottom. But I'm half. I can drink halfway. for you if you like, but I don't no, know. No, I like it. The, <laughs> I like the taste. You know. I'm glad you. I like was it. worried that okay. I wouldn't, but I like it, so we're good. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. Very good. <laughs> Okay, so I definitely can see and sense that you do have a lot going on right now. You're extremely busy. You're caring a lot. Just try to be gentle with yourself. Try to take it easy and just really um, do some reflective work on the things that you have gone through in this past couple years. It's been a lot, but it seems like you have really loving, very supportive people around you. Um, which is quite nice. However, there are individuals in your life who, you know, they, they love and care for you, but, you know, they can be a bit distracting and um, they can be a bit influential when it comes to your decisions. So you definitely want to sit with yourself a little bit more and to really make decisions on your own and then present it to others, okay? So, um, there's a lot going on here. I could sit for hours with you, um, but I think the message was was clear. And don't be afraid to take any um, just mental breaks and like kind of just calming breaks if you need to. I do see a lot of um, stability in your future. I want to open it up for you to ask any sorts of questions you may have. 
I'm literally in shock because, yeah. like, everything that you said is, like, so true. I, like, kind of got a little bit emotional for a second because, like, of, like, you saying, like, oh, everything that, that you've, like, gone through, whatever. Yeah. I was a little bit skeptical because I was like, okay, yeah, like, this will be, like, a fun reading. Like, yeah. you know, I'll learn, like, like, a few things about myself. It's but, like, so you intense. literally know nothing about me and you yeah. were just able to, like, feel that or, like, read that. So that's, like, absolutely crazy to me. And I was just, like, in shock the whole time. <laughs> You're in the right place at the right time. Yeah. You guys right seem message. so... <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That yes. was amazing. <laughs> I'm still in shock a little bit. But, yeah, sit with that uh, one yeah. for a day. <laughs> I'll just stare are at sure my cup. Are you sure you still want to read? He's like, what are we unpacking today? <laughs> ah. A simple man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you already kind of felt like you'd started all over and you're rebuilding your foundation and you are really just ambitious and eager for new energy and new learning, but all this empty space in the middle here tells me that this is a great opportunity to look for any like classes or training or some kind of like new skill to be adding on to. Um, either what you're doing or like what you've been shifted into. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, I do see just a minor blockage in in your heart space. After the Liana second date, I just didn't feel that same spark. It's this little light switch that goes on in your heart, that feeling wasn't there. And that's not a bad thing because we're two people trying to figure each other out. You still had an experience. You still have a memory that you can share with that person. Something that I learned about me throughout this entire process was how willing I was to be open, not caring so much about my past anymore because my past was really chaining me down in the present. My parents never had a happy marriage, never. And there was a period in time where I thought my dad was not coming home because he was out doing this and doing that. And it wasn't until in high school when we moved, I caught my mom cheating. I think I moved in with my dad at 2017. My dad and I were always in contact with each other. We just did not spend a lot of time with each other. There was nothing that we shared in common that kept that connection together, but cars were. We'd just go and we'd look at cars because that was the easiest way we could bond. I think I've said it before on the show, I've had a father all my life. Started having a dad four years ago. That kind of rapport that relationship that I got to build with him on the show was, it became much more in depth. <laughs> it's every car you pass by, you say, it's all it's crap. It's crap. Yeah. Okay, what is your standard then? Uh, my standard doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. Don't, don't, don't yeah, try. It's there somewhere. I remember we also used to go and the dealership was closed. Yeah. So we would avoid the employees coming <laughs> up. What did you call them? Vultures? Vultures. Uh. We hit Nissan, Lexus, we hit That's all crap, of crap, 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 super <laughs> crap. So I noticed in like the dating show uh -huh. that I went from kind of being a kid, surviving that whole mess that we went through as a family. Which mess? I, we not, you know the mess. Okay. Okay, that mess, uh -huh. you know? I don't regret anything. It's how it affected my son. So Back then, because I was so used to rejecting girls that I didn't like most of the time, and yeah. I had very little... Respect for them. Excuse me? That's no. not the word? Respect? <laughs> no, you respect it always. That's Even not my that. testimony, so... It was... The reason... No, you love made me lose my shirt. I'm what sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're not. My mother, through her bullshit, she taught me a lot. She embodied all the negative aspects of, like, shit that I wouldn't want in a relationship. So when I look at a new woman that is coming into my life, I, I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't look at that. If a woman is immature and will constantly blame you, automatically you're out. Vindictive or insecure, 
The insecurity part we can work through. Vindictive, you're out. If you're selfish, you're out. Snobby, you're out. Arrogant, out. All of that. And if I see one little hint of my mother in that woman, they're completely gone. I don't talk to them at all. Even if they're friends, goodbye. That's the part he's still struggling with. I'm not gonna lie to you, there have been certain times where I've thought that it has inhibited me from dating. This is why he's having difficult choices with women. So is there anything that you noticed in me that changed from before the show to after? Yeah. No, you've learned on that. As a parent, you're never done. You can never say, I have accomplished something. It means the end is there, the end result. No. I like the part where you got rejected. No, seriously. Okay. I, I even said it. I like that fact that you got rejected and you've got a lot of character to show on the camera, in front of everybody, that it's okay to get rejected. The day you close your eyes, you still think you could have done more for your child. So I'm not done. My family is not the best representation, the most accurate representation of what is considered a traditional Armenian family. It's just not. But that also pushes me to one day in the future be a big part in creating a newer, better, modernized version of what an Armenian family is supposed to look like. Wrap it up. <laughs> So, I do see just a minor blockage in your heart space. So, I don't know if you're <laughs> grieving um, or if something is still kind of uh, weighing you down a little bit, but I do see it leaving. Um, and I do see you kind of overcoming that in the best way that you know how. Uh, I see the number seven showing up here and in a numerology. It's a very, very spiritual number to be working with. Step into your light because you have a lot of it, okay? Anytime you're feeling blocked or stagnant or unmoved and you want to get the juices flowing, consume a whole chili pepper, okay? <laughs> I know that sounds hilarious. Um, do you like spicy food? <laughs> My friend uh, has a chili pepper farm, so oh my God. Ah, very convenient, that's I think. So funny. Uh, Quite convenient. Uh, that's really cool. It can't be like substituted with like a bowl of like chipotle or something. <laughs> no, it has, it to, has be to be more of a like you're stuck. You're like, ah, I need to get out of this, and then what do I do? Just go grab one with intention, eat it, knowing that it's going to feed your soul and get things kind of energetically moving and then you will see that it'll help remove blockages too, okay? I hope you Thank you. found it helpful on your There's journey. so much to yeah. think about. Yeah, yeah. So, so reflect I on. have a question now. Yes. So I guess like comparing the two cups or like relating them to each other, like what what's your take on that? <laughs> I definitely see how different you both are um, and both of your energies can actually be very complementary to one another. You can inspire him to be more creative, and then you can help her structure things. You'll never run out of fun with her. That's for sure. She needs to know. Yeah. She Keep seems like she's down for any kind of adventure. So. Like, yeah. I don't know what she's talking about, the whole blockage or the heart thing. <laughs> you never you. heard that? She's like, I'm just delivering the message. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the, the coffee cup date happening so early, it to me kind of reiterates uh, the importance of you're just starting to be more vulnerable with somebody you're trying to get to know. I was nervous about the coffee cup being red. Why? Well, well, like, because <laughs> maybe she's like gonna reveal things that you know I'm not ready to reveal. I, I don't know what that like would be. Like the heart blockage. I'm, so, I'm very simple. <laughs> like okay, the heart blockage. To be fair, I don't know what that's about. It was a cool experience for sure. Uh, I think he learned a lot about me um, just through that cup, and I learned about him as well. And we did get some time like off camera a little bit. So it was nice to like just have a candid, well, all of our conversations were candid, but it was nice to have like a private conversation. I feel like I learned a lot about you and like how we would kind of balance each other out yeah. in a way. I'm interested in seeing, yeah. Like coming, like using this as a launching pad, mm -hmm. like what? <laughs> What's it gonna what be would, like when the cameras are off? Yeah, you know? like what would come um, out of it? And, yeah. 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 <laughs> so what is it gonna be like? 
I'm really excited to go on a third date. Uh, I still feel like I really haven't gotten to know Natasha, you know, like who she is. Um, I've just gotten these like little tidbits, which seem very, very, very promising. Um, and I know for sure there's gonna be a third date if she, you know, <laughs> if she wants. I think we should go to dinner. Yes. Yeah. I think maybe so. Get, Off camera. Yeah, let's get dinner. <laughs> I want to see your charcuterie skills. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Yes. Maybe that's later on. It seems like it's a very special talent of yours. So. <laughs> the goal is to find a serious relationship, but it'll take time to get there. Probably it'll take uh, more than one date, more than one person. Yeah, I'll be dating with more intent than I usually would, hopefully without getting too much in my head, evaluating earlier on whether or not this person, you know, meets my needs. Many times I would remember going on dates and people saying like, be yourself, but like the tamed version, like don't scare them off. I think there are so many different ways to be Armenian, to be an Armenian woman, to um, be proud of that. And I'm proud of being loud. I'm proud of being the not so agreeable person all the time. I've just really embraced this version of an Armenian woman and I'm proud to be it. <laughs> My takeaway from the show, I realized that I do have a new definition for what it means to be an Armenian man. It has nothing to do with the material things that you have in your pocket or on your neck or whatever, whatever you're wearing. I know what I bring to the table and I want someone who will match that. I don't need someone to do that. The same kind of compassion that our people are known for, you have to show that and express that in a different way when it's necessary. Going out on all these dates and having my friends and family meet them, it was just, a great experience to have and something that only that group and I will ever have. So I highly recommend you all come and, you know, meet your man here. <laughs>
Yeah. I reached out to Maro uh, sometime after the show. I don't know. I mean, I felt like there was something like yet to be explored with Maro. Um, we decided to meet up again after our first day on the show. Hike, beach, restaurants. Um, and I don't know, I mean, like, her energy is kind of infectious. We got close enough where I felt comfortable making things official. Is it true Armenian love? Is it true Armenian <laughs> You say as you, like, go and hide. <laughs> um, is it true Armenian love? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy to buy you on. <laughs> Oh, hey. How are you? Good. Hi. Um, I'm really happy I went on the show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you better sit Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>